What's this? What's this? Is this your favorite toy? It is. You love that toy, don't you? Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags, available at Amazon right now. Well, hello everyone and welcome to the Ranger Rob Country Living and I'm Ranger Rob. And as promised, I told you we went to war with the, uh, with the mice. So, instead of showing you how I built everything, I ordered one of those little rods from Amazon that already had the nail type thing in it. So I'm going to show you what I did. So, this is it right here so you can see i've got peanut butter on here right there and i smeared just a smidgen on the stick here a little ramp moves on its own there's a big mouse right here <laughs> get away from my mouse trap no cinder anyway so uh, it rolls really easy and uh we put water in there so we'll see if we have many mice in this garage which i know we have some i don't know how heavy and so also, something else came in today that I'm very excited about. Let's go check it out. Our new uh, drop-down saw, miter saw, came in today at the DeWalt. Uh, looking, looking forward to opening it. And I'm sure I've got to assemble something. And the goal is, I think it will fit. We did do some measurements. I'm hoping to be able to install it on this table right here and this this shop is a mess right now because we had a bunch of people move things out of it this table here which is heavy duty uh the measurements go right to the edge of this so i'm gonna lay it out on here see if this will work maybe i need to change the table uh, we'll see, but I'm also kind of interested in the DeWalt. I'd love to hear your comments below if anybody has a DeWalt miter saw. Uh, Belle, come on, baby. Come. Hey, turn around. What you doing? I'd be, be curious, squirrel. Uh, what your thoughts are about um, the... They, you can buy stands for them, and they got a mobile stand with wheels. And it looks like a, a practical thing to have. Of course, they're about 180 bucks. But, I mean, I just spent 600 on that. I guess I can afford that. But it's still... Isn't it funny how you find certain things expensive and others you don't? Um, but anyway, uh, it's a mobile table, a mobile stand uh, that it mounts to that you can use to move around your property. And... Uh, that would be pretty cool to have. I, I have some, uh, I feel like an old man. I have a bunch of projects coming up out in the field out here. And it'd be nice to take the saw right out there while we're doing them. So uh, I'm thinking hard about it. I might, I might pick up one of those stands with the, with the wheels to make it mobile. But we'll see how well it does uh, if I can install it on that table with a hoot. Also, <laughs> uh, yes, we are getting close to doing at least one or two streams a month. What am I waiting for? Well, I think I showed you one of the videos. Yeah, I did. Um, that the new studio is being built. Uh, we got some more things. I, I think you saw we had a temporary bed in there. We're waiting to get rid of that. And uh, then we got to install the green screens. Put, uh, bring out the lights, uh, bring in all the equipment, uh, disassemble what I already put together. And it's quite an endeavor to set up a studio. So uh, that's coming, and it should be fun, and we're looking forward to it. And then you won't see the dining room table in the background anymore. Uh, we've had to make do with what we got. And uh, I'm actually kind of looking at another camera. It's kind of funny, guys. I've been looking at good vlogging cameras, but I don't want a bulky one, and that's why I use a GoPro a lot. GoPros are great. You grab and go, and you're set to go. 
Uh, but there's a new one out. It's got a built-in uh, uh, gimbal in it. It's a small little guy. And uh, it looks pretty impressive. And the price is pretty good. And I'm him and hawing. I may go to that. The other thing I just did is I might start doing more of our vlogging with a, with a phone. And uh, I just never could get into that. But I finally got a stick that also will act as a tripod. And uh, I might try a whole video just using our uh, my Android phone. And uh, we'll see how that goes. But uh, um, you probably just saw a video we're talking about um, marketing your site. And then we're talking about making money on your homestead. We talked a little bit about some of our equipment. But we have actually very extensive equipment and very good podcast equipment. And so I'll probably eventually do a video on that once the studio is set up so you can uh, see the equipment a little better. So, uh, yeah, this is so much going on. So, hopefully in a day or two we'll have the new drop-down saw set up. We'll see how well the mouse traps are working. And my glue cardboard things came in today for the mice too so we're going to put those in different parts of the uh, property and see how well they catch mice and none of them will hurt our animals there's no poison involved um, and uh, I was talking I watched homestead uh, home uh, farmstead Smith sorry and uh, she said they got chewed out once for killing mice on their property and it's like and suggested she move back to the city because you, know, you wouldn't have so much problems with mice and rats. It's like, are you kidding me, guys? <laughs> uh, we have to eliminate them for safety of our animals, for hygiene, for uh, our pets not to get hurt, um, and we have to be careful how we store our food. Uh, anytime you have you know a chicken coop out there. And the food falls to the ground. That's great food for mice and rats. Um, it's a battle. And uh, they're a rodent. And uh, get over it. This is the country you're talking about. Uh, it's just the opposite. If you don't like what we're doing, you stay in the city. <laughs> just saying. Anyway, let's move on. One of the final things I was going to talk about today is we actually did another garbage run. And uh, I think we're kind of doing those about every three weeks. And it's a bit much. Uh, I have been trying to go to these bigger, I don't know if you can see it very well with the lighting, the bigger uh, garbage cans and uh, heavy duty. But these things here, they're like 60 some odd dollars a piece. Uh, but they're really nice. But man, that's a lot of money. There I go again. I just spent $600 on a drop down saw. I didn't feel bad about that. But when it comes to a stand and garbage cans, I whine. Anyway, so uh, every time I do a garbage dump run, we got so many things that we're getting rid of as far as there's a stuff in here. This is garbage. And so my truck is stuffed with garbage every time we go. I think it's going to be like this for a couple more months. So uh, we don't use a garbage service out here. We could get it, but it's, oh my gosh, the cost. I can fill this whole truck up and uh, go to the dump for 12 bucks. And it gives me a great excuse to buy a milkshake. So the rationality is definitely there. So anyway, guys, um, I think I'll end it there. I don't like my videos getting too long. But I want to thank you for watching. Love to hear your opinion about a the mobile table that you can mount your miter saw to from DeWalt. Uh, if anybody has one of those, I'd love to hear your opinions. And... Uh, We'll see how the mouse traps are doing, and uh, the war on mice is begun, and uh, we'll see what happens. So anyway, guys, be safe. Make sure you like. Hit the like button right now. Stop right now. Think about it. Hit the hit the like button. Uh, share our videos. Uh, share them with everybody. Just share them with the president. Mike Pence might like them. Anyway, uh, uh, yeah. So um, share our videos and uh, leave comments. We'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to subscribe. So thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.